Mr. Speaker, I stand here in support of the value added tax amendment bill that has been presented and debated in this honorable house today. But Mr. Speaker, I take leave to express my condolences to the family of Quimez, who is a constituent of mine, who was murdered mere two hours after our carnival celebrations in Denry South. I also express my condolences to the families of the other two victims, Mr. Speaker, who were murdered on that day. I also want to extend to the family of, um, I can't remember the name, Mr. Speaker, but it's a fire victim who her house was, um, um, house got burnt Friday last week, Mr. Speaker, and everything she had in there was burnt, including some US dollars, and it was heartbreaking when I visited the victim on Sunday last week, Mr. Speaker, to understand the situation that she faced just an hour after she left her home that morning for work. I also want to, act to um, my heart also goes out, Mr. Speaker, to our farmers, our fishers, our agro-processors, Mr. Speaker, who got seriously impacted by the recent storm, and that has caused a major setback, Mr. Speaker, in what I call the regular income from the agricultural sector. But I want to assure them, Mr. Speaker, that this Prime Minister that I know, this government and cabinet that I'm part of, I'm certainly sure in the next few weeks, Mr. Speaker, we will be able to decide what sort of support we can give to our farmers to get them back into full agriculture, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and that speaks to climate change. We are within what we call a hurricane belt, and our farmers and other stakeholders, Mr. Speaker, have to face this dilemma on a regular basis. But Mr. Speaker, this bill before us today, Mr. Speaker, is a very important one, Mr. Speaker. And especially for my constituency, Mr. Speaker, having been exposed to the Atlantic side of the ocean, Mr. Speaker, have been impacted in many, many occasions from natural disasters, especially when those disasters are caused by strong winds, Mr. Speaker. Also, Mr. Speaker, on a Wednesday and other days when I'm in my constituency, Mr. Speaker, there is always a demand for assistance with building material for, like galvanized, cement, steel, and many other building materials, Mr. Speaker. And sometimes it's very difficult to be able to meet the demands by the constituents. But what this bill has done, Mr. Speaker, it has provided relief to our people. And just imagine a person who wants to spend a hundred dollars, let's say to buy 10 bags of cement, Mr. Speaker. In the past, Mr. Speaker, he would have to spend a hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as of the second of August, <clears throat> this person would have to spend less twelve dollars and fifty cents on that hundred dollars, Mr. Speaker. So pour tout ça là où dépenser, là il vient pour acheter steel, il vient pour acheter ciment, il vient pour acheter plywood, pour chaque 100 dollars où dépenser, pour qu'à spend 12 dollars et 50 cents less. So Mr. Speaker, going further in terms of somebody who, who may have taken a loan of $10,000 to repair his roof, to repair his, his um, building, Mr. Speaker. That $10,000, Mr. Speaker, will, this person will be able to save 
250 dollars, Mr. Speaker. For a 20,000 dollar expenditure, Mr. Speaker, this person will spend 2,500 dollars. So, pour mon nom qui veut dépenser 10 000 dollars, côté à 20 et quand vous dépensez 10 000 dollars, ça là, et dépenser un lot, yon 1,250 dollars, 10 000 dollars, ça a cause li pour sauver yon 1,250 dollars, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, it is of tremendous benefits to our people, and I'm certainly sure the St. Lucians that I know will take full advantage advantage of this bill, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I just wanted to make mention that this bold action will lead to one, a cost reduction to homeowners of 12.5% on the purchase price of selected materials. It will help stimulate construction activity within the economy. It will provide an opportunity for local suppliers to increase sales and expand. It will also help provide more employment within the construction sector, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, homeowners can take advantage and carry out repairs and maintenance of their properties at a cheaper rate. Also, Mr. Speaker, it will decrease the cost of construction for first-time homeowners. It will provide an opportunity for persons with limited budgets to at least stretch the budget and attain more buying power. And it is anticipated, Mr. Speaker, that such an initiative will provide a multiplier effect on the economy. Mr. Speaker, I want and I know our people and a number of persons now, Mr. Speaker, when you go around the constituency, you see the broken windows, you see the roofs with, you know, um, galvanized with holes, Mr. Speaker. You see the plywood rotten, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I know they will take advantage of this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to do the housing repairs and create an, an, a living environment, Mr. Speaker, that will be a lot more comfortable than had been in the past, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal to all St. Lucians, Mr. Speaker, to take advantage of this opportunity. And in closing, Mr. Speaker, I want to express my support to the motion before us in this honorable house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.